Welcome to Motor Power Monday. I'm Mike Ostertag. In this episode, we're going to mount the trucks on the SW7 as well as install the motor. So let's get started. Okay, the trucks are pretty much straightforward. Uh, one has longer wires than the other one. Uh, you know, they both have pretty nice little tab uh, type little things on the top. They just go inside the holes on the bolster. And then they just, honestly, they really super easy. They just mount with a what we I always call a Jesus clip or an E-clip right there, kind of like that. And all you do is just press that in place with this thing, and boom, that truck is mounted. And then we're going to go and do that same thing with the, with the other one. And as uh, easy as that, boom, the trucks are in. If you remember, before we painted the uh, frame, I went and I put a couple pieces of painter tape uh, in the cavity there where the uh, old motor sat. So now we're going to take this tape off and expose the bare metal. And that will give us a nice clean surface that doesn't have any paint on it in order to um, mount our motor on and the motor mount that I'm going to have uh, using um, some clear silicone, which I'll show you here in a little bit. And we'll just get some wires out of the way. And as you can see there, it's a nice, nice clean surface. Okay, here I've already cut a piece of uh, evergreen styrene. It's uh, number 304, and it's the uh, .100 by .625 piece. And I'm just going to take some dap clear silicone and lay a little dab in the middle of that whole area, like a pretty good chunk. And I'm just going to hold that piece. I'm just going to press that little spot right in there. And I'm going to go in and those gaps on the sides, I'm just going to, like as you can see, I just took a... Put a little bit of silicone in there and then spread it around and smooth it all out using a toothpick. Okay, always remember to uh, start recording before you glue something in. Uh, there's the silicone. I'll throw it up here quick so you can see it's just DAP 100% clear silicone. Um, what I'm going to do here is I got to get this off and I'm just going to put a little bit of silicone, as you can see, right on the bottom of that. And I'm using a ProtoPower West uh, HO scale motor and to repower the switch engine. Now for the real fun. I've got to rebuild all this linkage. If you notice, I'm not using a flywheels either. I'm going to take a couple pieces of tube styrene and take some uh, CA. I'm going to glue them together. They fit just perfectly together. And once they set, I'll use a little zip kicker in order to set that glue setting, uh, uh, that CA, I'll use that just to set that right away. Okay, now the next part is just going to wipe that off with a piece of paper towel and grab my handy dandy little mini mini uh, miter box and I'm just going to saw the small part off right right where the large part is. I'll just use the large part as a guide. And I'm just going to make a kind of guesstimate piece here and cut that off and that's going to be our new piece of linkage. And as you're about to see, that won't fit onto the little rod. So I'm going to take my Dremel and I'm going to bore that out the small inside out and I'm just going to test fit that onto the rod and then uh, we're going to move on to the next part of it which is putting it inside the original S scale linkage. I wasn't very scientific so I just grabbed a decent sized uh, drill bit and took a took a crack at it put it up against a piece of styrene I needed to get in there and uh, and boy you know it actually worked and I'm just doing this by hand no sense in getting fancy. I had a hard time kind of uh, holding on to that little piece it's kind of got an angle to it but I finally got it okay as you can see that fits in there just snug just perfectly snug now I'm gonna take a little drop of CA in there and I'm gonna put that uh, new mount piece or the styrene rod piece in there and then I'm gonna go and take a little dab of styrene and I'm gonna mount it onto the rod using that I don't know why I call it a motor rod it's the the shaft for the drive shaft for the motor. So now I'm just going to put the rest of the linkage back together, slide the new piece in place, and make sure none of the linkage comes apart. Uh, probably a good idea to do this before you end up uh, completing your final thing. Just do a nice test fitting of it before you put it all in place to make sure everything works really, really well. Next time on Motor Power Monday, we're going to start tearing the shell apart turning this SW1200 shell into a true SW7. That made some major, major reconstruction. So thanks for watching. 
Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. We'll see you guys next time, and as always, keep them on the shiny side.